Since 1958, many people have sent Courage Kenny cards for the holidays. Now, many of the cards are created by people with disabilities who are passionate about helping the facility that helped them recover. Reporter Shannon Slatton introduces us to one such artist. When Sue Fink sees a blank canvas, she sees a way to connect with the outdoors. It's just so pretty and peaceful. Before an accident damaged her spinal cord more than 15 years ago, Sue was very active outside. I go on backpacking trips and camping. We still camp a lot. At home, Sue uses her paintbrush to create the beauty she loves to see. Do less is more. Um, especially in watercolor. Sue is humble about her artwork too, staying away from art shows and contests. But each year she submits a picture to be considered on one of the Courage Kenny cards. And at the last minute my husband said, you know that, why didn't you submit that one? And this year she got in. Sue is wonderful. She's an inspiration to so many people and her artwork is just amazing. And we're so honored to have her artwork on our cards. More than one million Courage Kenny cards are sold each year, featuring not only snowy landscapes, but religious scenes and pictures that are undeniably from around the Twin Cities. We receive about two to 300 entries every year from artists from all over the country. And it's just like Christmas every day because there's so much fun artwork to choose from. The cards are a big financial boost for the programs at Courage Kenny too, which is one reason why artists like Sue are passionate about the Courage Kenny cards. Courage Kenny is really a great place. Sue's landscapes have been featured several times on the Courage Kenny cards, and she doesn't plan to stop submitting her artwork anytime soon. I couldn't have recovered um, without them, I don't think. Shannon Slatten, 12 News. There are some cards available at Courage Kenny, but you can also pick up a box at Lund's and Byerly's or at Bachman's. And all proceeds go directly to Courage Kenny programs.